Oh, is that man really the way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey guys, we kind of caught us mid conversation here. Move Movie Fan 356, and today we're recording a commentary track for Saw, the first Saw movie. It's 10 years old this year. Can you believe that? Y'all are really keen on I that can't saw. believe that. I'm, I'm going to tell you my Saw story uh, later, a little bit later on in the commentary here. And uh, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I, I, I put it in the top five for sure. Uh, my top five fifth favorite movies of all time. This this movie's in there, and but uh, you absolutely hate this movie. I do. It's really terrible. And, well, you're gonna sit through it with me. <laughs> oh boy. So, all right. So guys, uh, this is the R-rated version of the movie. So if you guys have the R-rated cut of the first Saw movie, you can pop it in and watch the movie along with us. Um. So yeah. Uh. Hopefully you're ready. You got some popcorn. You got some soda pop. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what you like to do when you watch movies. But, um, okay, so we're going to press the play button in three, two, two one, play. Mm-hmm. All right. Lionsgate. Do you like this logo of Lionsgate better than the one they have now? I don't even remember what the line, the new Lionsgate is. It's the Gears. Oh, I like the Gears better than, uh... So, so do I. Oh, look at that. Twisted Pictures logo is my favorite. See, has that always been their thing? Twisted Picture? The little barbed wire thing? Yeah. That always been their thing? Yeah, this was like the first movie that they did, too. Really? Speaking of first movies that they did, James Wan, which you guys all know from Dead Silence, Insidious, and The Conjuring, this was his first feature film... That they got to do, and it was actually because of a ten, little ten minute short film that showed at a film festival, and Lionsgate liked it, and they picked it up. So this is where James Wan got started. So he stretched his ten minute video into like an hour and a half movie. Yes, he did, because this ten minute short was just the bear trap scene. Oh. Only Lee Winnell was in it, and only Lee Lee Winnell was was in, was in the bear trap. Right. And the 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 interrogation as well. The reverse bear trapping. Yes. Lee Winnell. I love that dude. And that's the guy in the tub? Yes. He is the writer for Saw 1, 2, 3, Dead Silence, Insidious 1, 2, and 3. And he's also directing Insidious Chapter 3. Which I'm very excited for. Because James Wan has decided to move on from it. He so didn't stop doing horror. He's doing what? Action? He's, he's doing, doing a Fast and Furious. He's movies. doing Fast and Furious 7 right now. And then he's doing The Conjuring 2. Oh, he's at least doing the second one. That's a yeah. deal. At least last I heard, he was still doing the second one. I love this movie. I can't get this out. This movie's so good. This movie's so terrible. Now, what was your Saw story? How did you first experience Saw? What was your first Saw experience like? Tell us the Saw story. I think I watched the fourth one first. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out which one the fourth one is actually. Saw 4. Oh, guys, uh, before we go on, I just want to let you know that uh, we are going to be spoiling the shit out of this movie. So if you haven't seen this movie and you're just watching this commentary, uh, I wouldn't recommend it because we're going to talk about pretty much the whole series probably as as we go on. So uh, you guys have been warned. Which one is 4? 4 is the one where Rig, um, the African-American cop, is running around the city. Well, then it wasn't four. Which one is the one where it starts off with the guy and his head's in water? That's five. That's the one that I watched Oh, first. my goodness. What is wrong with you? Well, I didn't know that. I really, at the time of the moment I watched it, I was watching it with, I think, a couple of friends, and they, they've seen all of them up to five. Right. I have never seen one, and we were... I think we were staying up all night, and they were just like, oh, we had to watch this movie before we go to bed. I was like, well, what is it? They're like, well, it's Saw 5. I was like, "There's this is the fifth one. I've never seen any of them. They're like, oh, it's okay. I was like, all right. They're amazing. And Except for the last one. So I watched I'll, it. I'll get to that one. And then we watched the first one a couple of days later, and I just couldn't get into the first one at all. There was so much more going on. Compared to being condensed in a bathroom. Well, this movie was low budget, which they shot in 18 days. 
Well, yeah. And fun fact, it is the only film of the Saw movies that was filmed in L.A. Really? The, yes, the rest were filmed at uh, in Toronto, Canada. In one uh, warehouse. So all of the movies were shot in one warehouse, or were they getting different warehouses? One warehouse, the same warehouse, for two through seven. Nothing. I went to my shithole apartment and woke up in an actual shithole. Hey. I'm going to be quoting this movie. This is not a quoting <laughs> And crime. you know what? I do it so the anyone who is listening, to this, com- listening to this commentary track is uh, can make sure they're in sync. Just in case they're ahead or behind at all. So they're in a bathroom? Yes, they are in a bathroom. You've seen this movie. I know, but what kind of bathroom has... Huge pipe coming out of the off the floor and has a heavy sliding door. Come on now. That's the puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle. Ha 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 ha. ha. That was a good one. Oh. You see these scars? Huh? For Kerry always? Yeah, he's getting pretty old. We know you're lying in a bathtub and your kidneys are uneven. I didn't Born say old. I said cold. Oh. Cold. He's like in shorts on a concrete floor. What are you, surgeon? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do impressions and quotes throughout this commentary, so. Is that the guy from <laughs> um, The Princess Bride? The Princess Bride. He's also in one of the Robin Hood movies, Robin Hood Men in Tights. I've never seen that. Stop thinking about why we're here. Uh, little uh, fun fact for you. I haven't watched this this movie in a while either, but uh, in the film Yes Man with Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey is I'm 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 getting to a point here. Don't worry. Jim Carrey, there's a scene where he's watching Saw. In the scene where Dr. Gordon cuts his foot off later on. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I told you we're going to spoil the shit out of this movie. Where Dr. Gordon is cutting off his foot and he makes a little joke. I think that's funny because if you don't know him, Carrie Elwes right there, who's trying to open the door right now, and Jim Carrey did a movie together back in the 90s, and it's one of the best Jim Carrey movies. What movie? Liar, Liar. He was in Liar, Liar. He was the new boyfriend of the mom. He was a lot younger in that day. So I think it's funny that he's sitting there watching and his his uh, little buddy cut his foot off. Well, I don't know how close they are, but you know, at least they did a movie together, so they know they each talk other. Probably, I mean, they did a movie a long ass time ago, so they probably still talk. Right, you just found it Let's in your pocket. Let's check our pockets. Oh yeah. It's like the worst drunk night ever. <sighs> Now, if you found a tape in your pocket that said play me, would you play it? Probably not. Why? It's going to explain everything to you, isn't it? You don't know that. It could be weird. Could be. That's the risk I'm going to have to take. I wouldn't want to pop open. Do some crow shit and swallow it. Let me pick it over with this. A key! Would Jigsaw make it that easy? It's a bullet. It's a key. Oh, he has a key? That's a key. Where did he find a key? It was in his envelope. Oh. It wasn't in his, it wasn't in Adam's there, but that's why it's like, throw it here. What a terrible catch. At least it didn't land in the toilet. <laughs> that would have been bad. Or in the <laughs> tub and gone down the drain. No, it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> he just throws it like, fuck this key. Well, I would do. I would have gotten very I frustrated. Don't... This key's not working. I'm pretty sure that if someone kidnapped me, they wouldn't just leave a key right there. They, you, they wouldn't make it that easy. There's something else. That had to have been so hard for him to lay there still. No doubt. I mean, in the movie, we, we kind of know how, what he did. Right, but, later. but for real, though, in, to uh, have to lay there for in, 
Yeah, in Saw 3, we find that one out. Frame by frame. Now, see, that's probably what I would have done, too, if I was wearing a button-up shirt like that. I would take it and try to, you know, I would I'd probably do, do the same thing. You want a bell? Oh, see, this is something that I've kind of always wanted to know, and I thought I knew everything about the Saw movies, but why does his face have blood on it already? Nothing's happened. Who's? Dr. Gordon's. Next time he pops up on on, scre on screen, I can't really see it there. But next time, he pops, look at that. He's got a little blood on his face already, and nothing's happened yet. Hmm. I I don't. I never got that. Oh, I saw his finger move. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Going back, it's easy to see it now. But hello, Adam. Oh, rise and shine, Adam. Wow, I just disappointed myself doing that. You're very disappointed right now. What is going on with you? I don't know. It's been a long time since I watched this movie. So why use a tape player? Because there's no TV in there. Oh, you gotta put a TV in there. I don't think he could afford it. He's gotta pay for all the uh, gears and stuff to get his other traps made. He couldn't afford that. He could have stolen it. He could have used his TV from his own house. Jigsaw's not a criminal. He. <laughs> you should look. You should see her face just now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How? He kidnaps people. Well, technically. Technically, he takes them from their homes, <laughs> from their work, from the street, and puts them in a trap. Okay, now what? What would you do here? Will you throw the tape, or would you throw the player? Neither. It's mine. Like, would you come to an agreement like, okay, I'm going to throw the tape player at you, or you're going to be like, you throw the tape at me? Which I think I would want him to throw the tape, because I would be afraid that he couldn't catch the tape player. The tape would be a lot more easier to catch than the player, and then have it fall. And break. And, yeah. Like you said. It's to kill Adam. Now, this movie's going to get re remade and re rebooted in a few years here. Who do you think would be a good replacement for Tobin Bell? Even though Tobin Bell, I find, is irreplaceable, somebody's going to have to replace him. Who do you want that to be? Because I think I have a pick. I, I have a decent pick out for that. Who, who's yours? If he's still alive by the time they reboot it, Clint Eastwood. He's got the look. He's got a similar voice. Yeah. I think he could do it. I think I would be alright with that choice, really. I don't think he'd ever do it, but it's not his kind of movie. Oh, shenanigans. The hell, son, go out. Oh yeah, it's all a joke. You've been right, pumped. no doubt. You're trained up in a. Ashton Kutcher's gonna pop out in a minute here. You got pumped. Uh, that, that's who the man in the in the middle of the the floor is. It's Ashton Kutcher. Oh yeah, he's got a mask on and everything. <laughs> and he's right waiting for the right time to pull it off and be like. Ah. He's gonna come out and say, "Bam, bam! You've been pumped, bam!" Now, apparently this was like chocolate and stuff in here. I would still not want to put my hands on But that. Lee Winnell himself joked around, and uh, I wouldn't really see it as a joke. I would see it that it could be a possibility. That's disgusting. That's every one of the people on the crew took a shit in there right before they shot this scene. 
he joking? He he made that a joke on a commentary track, and I think it's possible. Any solids? <laughs> no solids. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you won't put your hand back in there and wash your hand off. Just saying. There's water in there. It's probably dirty too. Actually, that is the cleanest part of your toilet. Oh, well. That's why I'm not a plumber. Here we go. Saw. Hacksaws. That's why they call the movie Saw. Really? Yeah, because it was the tool to their freedom. Which is why the movie's called Saw, because the hacksaws were the tools to their freedom. At least that's how I see it. You want to test and use the other one? No, I'm going to keep it for myself. It's your own saw. Well, since they're just, you know, hacking away at the chains... I think now would be a good time for me to share my saw story with everybody. Oh boy. So my saw story. This was this is the reason why I'm really excited. Oh, that, good job. That saw is being released. Break the only thing that can help you save your life. No, don't don't interrupt me. I do what I want. And uh one of the reasons I'm excited for the re-release of Saw because this is the only one I did not see in theater. The trailer was like, eh, it looks like it could be total crap. But then I, it, I rented it when it came out. This is back when, you know, people actually were rented stuff out of blockbusters and family videos and s stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Those days are gone. Um, <laughs> you get them from Redbox. Yeah. Um, so I rented it. I'm like, it's kind of a wait for video kind of thing is what it feels like to me. I popped it in that night. I'm like, oh my god. Not long after that, they announced Saw 2 for the following year. And ever since then, they've been putting out Saw movies every year up until 2010 is where it ended. And um, I went every single night at midnight for Saw 2 through 6. And then for 7, I ended up going to an advanced screening, which was like, I don't know, two or three days early before the movie actually came out. Which is where I got my Billy the Puppet Mask. Which you no longer have. Yeah. Oh, look, Danny Glover. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Lethal Weapon? Are you kidding me? I don't. I've never seen Lethal Weapon either. Jesus Christ. Murtaugh. I'm too old for this shit. That's, that's what he's thinking right now. Look at him. He's just holding the <laughs> flashlight in there. He's like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> look at him. Look at that. I'm too old for this shit. It sure is. <laughs> You know, that the f photo stuff, uh, you know, where it shows, like, the black and white mm -hmm. photos and stuff like that? They just did that as an editing technique to fill up more time. But they're a split-second thing. I know, but they did it for better editing, so things looked a little bit better. I like it. And it ended up becoming one of the staples of the entire series. Now they do it in every one of them. Same thing with the uh, the montage at the end that kind of puts that everything, everything to, back together. Yeah, it puts it explains that, everything. Yep, with the Charlie Clouser score, which I'll, I'll talk about. Um, that was another thing that they used, another editing technique that they, they just needed to fill up some time and you know have edit it better. And uh, again, it's one of these staples. It's probably the most famous staple of the whole franchise. So that's a little fun fact for you guys today. Learning about these movies as the movie goes. Oh, we're only in the first one, sweetheart. No, it's so painful. Jigsaw Bruce. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Jigsaw Killer. Technically speaking, it is. Right 
right to the next one. <laughs> Dina Meyer, I gotta talk about her. Maybe I'll wait and talk about her a little bit more later on. It's written on the wall. Hurry up and program it in. So you've seen this movie. Yeah. What is your favorite? trap of this movie would you say the razor wire would you say the flammable jelly which is this one here would you say the reverse bear trap would you say the you know what would you say is the best trap of this movie hmm. I don't really know probably the reverse bear trap the reverse bear trap is iconic another fun fact for you <laughs> Uh, James Wan actually uh, drew the design and handmade each of the traps in this movie. Really? Yes, he did. And they make these traps to where they actually work. Oh, you told me that. Yeah, they, they, they make it safer for the actors, of course, but they actually work like they're supposed to. Right, like they're supposed to snap and pull the thing off. I think that's cool, though. Right. I really. This is gonna be interesting to listen. <laughs> I think he's lost. He might be a person of interest. Ah. Ah. <laughs> That's what I thought that was. I think he's lost. He might be a person of interest. That was a good one. Ah, uh, that was brilliant. Look at Chang right there, just smiling away at him. That's not her name. Her name's not Chang, but she's Asian. It's Chan. <laughs> That's Jackie Chan's wife. <sighs> Is he even married? Carrie Ellis? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan? Yeah. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Comment down below, everybody. I want to know. Is, J is Jackie Chan married? I mean, I could always look it up later after the commentary, but I'm not going to do it now. I always do. And I know there's going to be comments on here. Uh, you know, well, why didn't you uh, upload the movie? Because this is a commentary track. It's made. It's meant to be watched with the movie. Jeez, let me just get that out of the way now, because that's what I'm going to respond to each and every one of you. You say, well, where's the full movie? The full movie is at the store where you buy it. Yeah. This is Shira's job. What is your favorite Saw movie? Out of all seven of them. Number two? Number two is a good one. It's not my favorite. This one is I my really favorite. like number two. Even though it has the my most aphobic thing in it. The needle pick. I'm highly afraid of meat. It freaks me out. And that's the best off. trap in that movie. I couldn't do it. It gives me. It makes <laughs> my body go numb just thinking about her jumping in it. I like that. I wonder what ever happened to him. Who? Doctor Gordon's lawyer, Brett. Well, he left. He moved on. He was like, "The city is not safe anymore. I'm leaving." Well, yeah, but he seems like a dirty guy that Jigsaw would just put to the test. Well, he is a lawyer. That's so. what I'm saying. I think he's dirty. Maybe he already killed him. He just they didn't throw that in there. Perhaps. Maybe he got shot in the head by a random stranger walking down the street. So your favorite is two. Yes. Out of all the Saw movies. What is your least favorite? This one. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, if I had to actually like really throw a movie under the bus... Would have to. I kind of okay. I have okay things with the last one, but what an abomination! I'll I'll talk about Saw the final the, chapter the or really Saw three D or I Saw really seven. Like is or just Saw for the traps come alive. Whatever. I'll Chester find. being in it. That's one thing that makes me okay with that movie. But ah uh, yes, uh, Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. But uh. 
That would have to really yeah, be fun. Look at that. Though. Look at that beautiful face. Oh, God. Not, not that. Not that. That right there. There you go. Oh, yeah. She is highly attractive with her red face. Yeah. She looks like she just ate somebody. The best and most iconic scene of this movie, in my opinion. You know, if you really look at this little bear trap he has, you know what it reminds me of? What's that? One of those things that from, like, hundreds of years ago that you would put on your head and go scuba diving. No, I don't know that. The lighting also kind of gives off that effect as well. Mm-hmm. There we go. She gets a TV. Yeah. Everybody else gets a TV <laughs> but the people in the bathroom. All right. It's not fair. But you have to put the TV on channel 3, you see that? Yeah. So what if someone didn't put the channel on 3? Then I guess Jigsaw wouldn't explain the rules now, would he? But that's not fair. I think he always checks the TV before he locks the door behind him. What if he doesn't? Oh, what yeah. if someone else goes in and changes the channel? I doubt anybody would do that. Hey, you never know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> And we don't get to see that in action until the last movie. And it really doesn't do anything. Oh, remember how I told you he did James Wan design and built all those traps himself in uh -huh. this one? He also did the same thing for Billy the Billy the Puppet. Really? Yes, he did. Why and that's actually what got uh, Carrie Elwes on board. That's when he decided, he's like, <clears throat> okay, I want to do this, is when he realized that James Wan was showing him all the his, his designs and stuff like that for the traps. And I think Carrie Elwes says, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, he did a great job. I mean, if he really sat down and designed everything, he did not, such, he did a great job. James Wan is going to be up there. I, I give it another maybe 15 years. And James Wan would be up there with John Carpenter and Wes Craven. And yeah, he's doing, he did great. A, about, an, about another 10 or 15 years, I'd say. I mean, he got his own little seven movie just on a short film. Well, he didn't do them. He didn't direct. Well, no, but they're his all. movies. Not really. He's he, not, yes. he, has, he hasn't been involved since this one. Shush, they're his babies. They're well, he's, his he's attached to executive producer. They're his babies. But, I mean, yeah, he started it, but so now, he had nothing you, to do with the rest of them. Do you know why he calls his puppet Billy? Uh, because he likes the name Billy, and uh, the ventriloquist dummy from Dead Silence is also named Billy. And the only scary part in that movie is with the evil clown, which is for ten seconds. Fun fact, the guy she's uh, cutting up right now is actually the producer, Orrin Coles. Really? Yes. Huh. The one who's playing the hood road dealer. Oh. So, he was alive? He was. <laughs> Look at that. Ew. The intestines. The key. See, she had to work for that key. Knowing that now, would you say that it would be that easy? Just waking up and, oh, here's, I found a key in my envelope, here you go. Try it out on yours. Why, no doubt. After watching this, you know, it's not going to be that easy. So the guy she killed was a drug dealer? Yes. Okay. It was actually the producer. And he should have stayed dead. Because of what the fucking, the finale. I'll, I'll get to that. I'm not gonna lie, after the traumatic experience I just experienced, I wouldn't want some puppet just riding a bicycle in the middle. He's the congratulating her. He's being helpful and nice. Leave it alone. But look at him. He's kind of creepy. He reminds me of a clown, and I would panic and probably flip out. Congratulations. See? Most people are so
She's so good in those movies. Who is it? That's Johnny Smith. Oh, okay. She's done other other movies, and she also had a band. Really? Yeah. She kind of looked like she'd be in a band. Yeah. She's done other movies, and she had a band with um, Missy Pyle. Who's that? She's in a lot of movies. I can't really show you her face right now, but, um, yeah. What movies is she in? Bringing Down the House. She's the Steve Martin's obnoxious sister-in-law who's always banging the old guys. What? Yeah, they they were in a band together called uh, Smith and Pyle. Yeah. Cool. They're their last names. What a, what a band name. Back in the bathroom. Okay. Is this supposed to be like a a work bathroom? I, I don't know. I, I would say so. Well, if it's a work bathroom, why in the hell is there a bathtub? Right. This isn't a house bathroom because, for one thing, eh, I guess it could be. It isn't a house. Well, I know it's in a house, but it looks more or less like Kind of like it would be in a basement. Ah, the, to our old the, the realization. He's like, holy shit. Yeah. Is it now? <laughs> what did he throw? It's a good question. What is he throwing? It's a camera. Smile. You're on candid camera. Oh, <laughs> so now it starts recording? No, it's it's been recording. We just didn't know there was a camera right there, so they didn't show us any of this shit yet. Oh. We're, we're, we're supposed to be finding out with them. Oh. Which, the first time you see it, you do. It's, it's an amazing experience. Yeah, he, he delivers a lot of good lines in this movie. Why do you get to throw shit and I don't? <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. So I kind of figured out how maybe he got blood on his face. Do tell. When he woke up, how far away is he from the guy in the middle of the room? Is he closer or further away, just like Adam's? Um, I think he might be like two inches closer, if anything. Because but because when it's pretty Adam much is the same. reaching towards the um the corridor, he was pretty far. But later on in the movie, when he dips the cigarette in his blood, he's pretty close. Hmm. So if you really think about it, the little amount of blood that that's, that's could have possible. rolled over to where really, he was at, and then really laid think it about in, that. had his face in it. Do you know who that kid is? No. That is Mackenzie Vega. The last name Vega should be familiar because her sister, Alexa Vega, is... Carmen Cortez from no Spy way. Kids. Yes, that is her younger sister. Really? Yes. Huh. I would never have known that. Hmm. Now I really want to see her face. It's you'll you'll see it in a minute here. It's all dark right now. Well, yeah. It's hard to say. I will say this, I wouldn't put her in the top best child actors in a horror movie, but she's not on the worst child actors list either, so. So she's mediocre? Yeah, I, I, th I think she's pretty decent in this movie. She I think a pretty good kid in a horror movie is the kid She didn't from, really uh, blow me away, though. Is the kid from the... She's walking like a ghost. Could be. Well, she could be a good ghost kid. Uh, we're about uh, 35 minutes in to the commentary track, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Monica Pyle. And well, no, that would creep me out, not gonna lie. No, I just stood in front of my bed and 
just stared at me, didn't say anything to me. I, I, I just want to clarify that uh, Monica Potter is no relation to Harry Potter. I would hope not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just thought I'd clear that up. Can't oh. talk to me. That's not weird. No doubt. Yeah, because your dad's so tough. Hey, for a little kid, your dad is the toughest man in your life. He's a doctor, not a fighter. I'm trying to do a Carrie Elwes impression as I say this sentence. He's a doctor, not a fighter. He has scalpels. He could kill her. He's just going to finish that paragraph. <laughs> You're lying. He's gone. You need a tootsie? tootsie? The f I didn't need her feet. He didn't need her Look. feet. He, did, he didn't need her feet. He needed a tootsie. Well, I'm pretty sure her foot <laughs> is not a tootsie. Give me... <laughs> Are you scared? Well, give me your stash of Tootsie Pops. That's what I feel like he was asking for. <laughs> oh yeah, let me reach into my bedding. Give me your Tootsie a, Pops. A give, give me your Tootsie Rolls. Rolls. <laughs> I'll just give you my kid instead. Here you go, Dad. Where's my foot? Did he even look in her closet? No, he didn't look in the closet because he knows there's no bad man. He just said there's no such thing as the bad man. So why would he check it? To make her feel better. He could have looked under the bed, in the closet, made her feel a whole lot better. I think you're just nitpicking, trying to find little things just so you can say you hate this movie more. I'm just saying. You're and her room is yellow. She is a girl, clearly. You're nitpicking. Maybe she could have a colored room. I'm not nitpicking. I nitpick now. No, you are. You are nitpicking. Did he even check the closet? Who well, cares? I do. She's nervous and scared. Why wouldn't someone look in the closet for her? You'll hear the rest of that conversation later on. Oh, it's almost uh, 10 after 1. He's got 5 hours. Oh my god. He's got 5 hours to get the job done. Yeah, For if hours. he doesn't, then Alice and Diana will die. You know, for being a wallet, that hit the ground a lot. Harder than it should have. Yeah, it looks pretty heavy. I mean, there's a lot of pictures in it, so. He probably got a couple credit cards. He is a doctor. He's probably got some money on him. Well, he used to have some money on him. Perhaps. You're a filthy liar. Jigsaw sends his regards. Sometimes you see more with your eyes shut. Are you guys sick and tired of the jigsaw uh, uh, impression yet? I'm kind of sick and tired of the jigsaw impression. <laughs> we got six more movies to get through. Yeah, you do them anyway. See, it didn't hit as hard that time. No, but if you notice, the first time you threw it, it hit pretty hard for a wallet. Yeah, it does. Now who's nitpicking? Hey, I'm just trying to find things to talk about. <laughs> Unless you'd rather just hear me praise this movie for an hour and a half. Not really. 
I mean, if you like the movie, you like the movie. Oh, I don't like the movie. I love the movie. Well, if you love the movie, you love the movie. I really like that light they have in their house. They, they went to, uh, Ikea. They went to Ikea. <laughs> they, went, they went to Ikea. So. Well, they did... They did good at Ikea. They helped them out. Oh no! It's the evil eye! It's Jessica Alba! It's <laughs> Jessica Alba. <laughs> No, it's the scary ghost man. No, it's it, it, it's Mike the, Myers. It's the scary blanket ghost. It's Michael Myers. No, it's the scary doctor. I don't think he can make up his mind on what he wants to be for Halloween this year. Oh, no. I think he had, like, five different costumes. Well, Jessica Alba is not a costume. It could be. <laughs> it's not. Depends on what character. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> you wanted to hear the heartbeat. He's playing a doctor. What is what is your mom gonna do? How are for she's right next to Kick him in the nuts. Are your legs tied up? I don't think so, Allison. There's his nose. I see the side of his face. If that was his real face. That's true, that could be another Halloween costume. <laughs> See you. I see you in the window. Well, someone's a little obsessed with everything that's going on. Detective Cap. Detective Murtaugh Tap. Or Detective Tap Murtaugh. That sounds better. Yeah, a little bit. Detective Tap Murtaugh. He's too old for this shit. I'm too old to be watching TV. I'm too old to be keeping newspaper articles. So how is he supposed to find the right numbers? Right numbers to what? The combination. Well, guess I should have paid more attention. I'm trying. <laughs> it's really kind of losing my interest here. Driving Carrie Elwes home. He's too old for that shit. That's going to be a recurring joke in this whole movie. I see that. <laughs> I hear it. it. Seems to happen every time you see this man on the camera. Yeah. What? We're only 44 minutes into the show. Eh, 44 minutes into the commentary, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, don't be such a creeper. He arrested a dentist last week who liked to play with kids a bit too much. He's getting too old for that shit. Oh my god, <laughs> knock it off. That is enough. Puppet is very creepy. 
Are you tired of living? Call Jigsaw at one eight six six game. What? Eight six six what? Well, he Jigsaw popped or Billy, whichever whatever you want to call him, popped up on on the TV, and he says, "Are you tired of living? Call now for your free test experience. Call one eight six six four two five game." That's one eight six six four two five gay. Make your choice. <laughs> Somebody needs to make that. That needs to happen. That is pretty funny. Do you want to go get a beer? No, I'm too old for that shit. Good grief. <laughs> I'm about to go insane. Okay. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. That was greatly placed. Not gonna lie. Out of all those jokes. Would I you quit talking to me, Detective Singh? I'm trying to listen to this ad for this number. <laughs> I'm tired of living. Never mind, come on back, man. <laughs> come back, hurry up. Keep talking. Mm, I love that. Mm. You guys can't see my hand doing that, but whatever. He's acting it out. There's no word. Now, how could he hear that if he had to listen really, really closely and Detective Singh was just talking over it? He couldn't. Yeah, they didn't really think that one through. Well, like you said, babe, it was shot in 18 days and it was a low-budget film. It was shot in 18 days, but it wasn't written in 18 days. And that probably wasn't even supposed to really be there. Yeah, it was. No, again, uh, n nothing against... You know, Lee Lee Winnell at all. I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to find things to talk about here. He's, he's a great writer. You're nitpicking worse than I was. I'm, I'm just trying to find stuff to talk about. Well, so was I. Yeah, but you hate the movie. Exactly. Both point of views. That was, you missed it. That was actually Lee Winnell for a second. Oh. You missed it. The one when the elevator o opened up mm -hmm. and the gun sticked out, it was actually uh, Lee Lee Winnell doing that. Oh. Yeah. You, you could see this, this, the side of his face. But uh, we missed it. I was talking over it. Oh, good job. Yeah. I found it. I found it, Sing. I don't know what's up with all the detectives in the Saw movies always coming with, I got you. Because they're excited. Detective uh, Strom from Saw 4 and 5. If, uh, in, in Saw 5, there's a moment where he goes, I got you, you motherfucker. Well, they're excited. <laughs> they think they're getting the person who's terrorizing their city. Now, don't tell me if someone was to randomly And start Eric doing Matthews, this shit. who's played by the amazing Donnie Wahlberg in the second movie. Eric Matthews, Mr. Bailey! Not Boy Meets World, Eric. Actually, yes. It's funny because there's an episode in season four of Boy Meets World where Eric's trying. He, they, it's the parents tell him to get a job. He sits at home and uh, he, he watches TV. He's like, I want to be a detective. Mm -hmm. And he goes, when a crime breaks out, all the new girls shout, it's a good-looking guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, some odd years later, he, Eric, Eric Matthews, Matthews became a detective. So, there you go. Oh, Mr. Bailey! Oh, I'd love to. That was good. Oh, 
don't know. This thing's like, I got you. It's Drill Chair Jeff. Try saying that five times fast. I can't even say it. Drill Chair Jeff, Drill Chair uh, I can't even do it twice. Drill Chair Jeff. Can Robert say it? I don't know. Shout out to Robert. You know who you are. Uh, he's my saw buddy. We met on the House of Jigsaw website. Drill Chair Jeff. Uh, a little bit about him. He is the true mastermind behind everything. He's even... Uh, Jigsaw is the accomplice to Drill Chair Jeff, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's actually what happens. That's why we never see him again. A after this. So that was it? Like, so no, did don't, another star? No, no, no. We, we get a little bit more of him. Oh. But I'm talking about in a after all this is done and in future movies, we never see him ever. He's not even mentioned. So... Oh. So we've come to the conclusion that... So you guys know what his first name is? His name is really Jeff? Yeah, it's Jeff. Okay. Awake already, Jeff. He'll say that in a minute. Awake already, Jeff. See? Oh, okay, well, at least his name is really Jeff. <laughs> well, we call him the Drill Chair Jeff because there's a Jeff in Saw 3. Oh, is it so, really? Yeah, so we call him the Drill Chair Jeff. He's Jeff in the third one. He's the guy who was going through all the... The uh the tests and the fact and, and then he now you'll make a choice in twenty seconds the life of this man will be ended. He's actually the mastermind behind it all. <laughs> yes, I am sick also. Sick from the disease eating away at me inside. Sick of people who don't appreciate their blessings. Sick of those who scoff at the suffering of others. I'm sick of it all. Yo! He's getting too old for that shit. Yeah, he is too old for that shit. <laughs> that was cool, though. Nina, I want one. Oh, did you find something you liked in this movie? Not gonna lie, his little knife thing <laughs> that just shot out of his sleeve was pretty badass. You don't, I take it you don't remember? I don't remember that part of this movie, no. I probably wasn't watching it at this point. But that was pretty badass. It was just like the cool gun that I want that sits on my wrist. The fog. Fog makes everything more intense. There's creepy things that live in the fog. Look at he's dying. I'm dying. I know. Hallways never end well. Kevin Lee Young does not get enough credit as an actor. This guy right here? Yeah. What sure, he may not pick the best things to be in all the time, but he's always good when he is in it. So he's one of those that are good in anything? Oh, well, yeah, but I wouldn't put him in my top five. I'd probably Idris Elba, Stanley Tucci, you know, Danny Trejo. Those are all in the top five, but... He can make anything good, no matter what he's in, even if it's the oh, movie's no. terrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's, uh... He's dead. He's a smart thinker. That was not that bad of a um, booby trap. It was just a simple one in case, you know, the place, you know, in case two detectives happen to break into your place and or try to bring you down, you gotta have something there. He likes opening big doors like that. He likes closing them too. Well, I'm sure, but if I had big doors like that laying around, I'd probably do the same thing. Be all dramatic about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. 
This is priceless. Ooh, it's fucking tape. Ah. I like that green screen. Another uh, good editing technique. We should talk about the editing in this film for a minute. That was a really good green screen. Editing. Uh, Made Ke it really Kevin Greuter is the director of this movie. Is the director of this movie. Or not the director of this movie. I was about to say, I thought we were talking about editing. Why are we talking the about The editor Saw's? of Saw's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Well, one, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And he went on to direct Saw 6 and 7. Oh. The editor of... Yeah, they, they, they aside from Darren Lynn Bowsman, mm -hmm. who directed 2, 3, and 4, they used... You know, members of the Saw family who have already been in this thing the whole in the series the whole time as directors. David Hackle was a production designer and directed Saw Five. Right. See. Yeah, but the blood is also. He could have had his face right yeah, there, and it could have leaked on his face. Yeah, but the blood is uh, was also closer than what it was before. Like there's more. Like it's running oh. to the side. If you notice that, it it's obviously a poorly built room because it's going down. James Wan actually said this room doesn't actually look like it's not a perfect square. Like, it's got some angles. Well, you can see that, but it's not a perfect square. Like, it's got some bad angles in certain spots of it, I guess. The original one did. Oh, shit. There's the fucking X. X marks the spot in it. Where's that coming from? Is that paint? Yes, it's glow in the dark paint. Okay. See? If you would have just waited a minute. Jesus Christ. Well then. <laughs> Lights in here hadn't charged it. It's glow okay, in the wait dark. a second. How is his not breaking? His saw? Yes. Because he's using the other end. And his saw is dull. Now, from running it across the chain. Yeah, but he's using the other end. He's not I'm using just saying, the for end. future thought, he's going to try and cut his foot off. And uh, he made it dull by running it across a piece of metal. He got a new one. He went to Home Depot and bought a new one. Okay? Oh, so he unchained his foot, went to Home Depot, bought a new hacksaw. Yes, he's trying cupped to. Cupped himself back up. Yes, he's trying to make a point. <laughs> so okay. he just cut his foot off? I doubt it. And there's where the fucking key goes to. Like, I know. I threw it down this movie was so good. The first time you watch this movie, you are solving the puzzle with them. I think it would have been a lot better if I would have watched it first. That is I the, watched Spy first. That is the greatest thing about these movies, is that you're solving the puzzle along with the characters. So you you know just as much as they do. Oh, I thought you might say I was wrong. You do snipe. No, they don't know us. No, they do not. Yeah, they've seen you in videos, Brad. Not me. I mean oh. them. Oh. If I was chained up in there, I'd want to smoke. Oh. Well, I know they've seen me smoke. Yeah. I've said several times where did I put my cigarettes at. Shout out to Robert again. Why are you shouting to Robert? Because he's a, he's he's a good buddy of mine. And this this movie is, is responsible. He is your saw. Yeah. Dude. I met him on the House of Jigsaw forum, which is no longer around. Sadly, mm -hmm. it shut down shortly mm -hmm. after Saw Seven came out. And you guys crack me up. Yes, I, I I call it Saw Seven. I don't call it Saw Three D or Saw the Final Chapter. I mean, if I'm typing it out, I'll say Saw the Final Chapter. But if I'm just talking, it's Saw Seven. You guys just crack me up. Yeah, the House of Jigsaw forum shut down shortly after Saw 7 came out. And uh, lots of cool people there. You, I mean, you got the occasional asshole, sure, but it was it's, it's where I spent all my time. Lame. And uh, I've, I've met some cool people on there. And my Saw 3, uh, two disc director's cut, was actually given to me free. Oh, from who? By somebody on a House of Jigsaw, which I don't really talk to anymore. I think I have her on Facebook still, but she apparently had an extra one 
laying around, and she had one, and that was, like, one of the only ones I was missing at the time, because I was trying to collect both editions of each one, mm -hmm. and uh, that was one, one of the only ones I was missing, and she said she had an extra copy, and she sent it to me f for free, so I didn't have to trade anything, I didn't have to send her anything back, or send her any money or anything like that, so... Oh, I mean, there's uh, lot, lots of cool people on there. And, of course, Robert was the one, you know. Robert, who you talk to every day. Yeah, which, honestly, I didn't really talk to him that much during uh, House of Jigsaw. I mean, I, I was posting stuff, but we weren't really friends at that point. We kind of became, became friends later. So, and Eric, who does all the commentary samples and stuff, you know, on... You, you, YouTube, he's got that YouTube channel that does like commentaries and stuff for mm -hmm. iTunes, and you get free samples of it. His uh, his channel name's pretty much it, and uh, he was also on the House of Jigsaw, and that's where I met Eric at too as well. So, oh, that's cool. right. So yeah, I love Pighead. I really want to know why in the hell he was just crawling. He can be stealth-like and stand and walk. I don't know. But as we find out later, spoilers, it's not a he. Okay, why would she? <laughs> Spoiler alert. The girl who survives the reverse bear trap. That's a good question. I, I don't know. Crawl on the back. This is great. My best friend at the time, Scott Tibbs, stabbed me with a rusty nail. I don't care about that. It was a feminist female punk broke up with me because she thought I was too angry. I never told her that one of my toenails was slightly... Just stop it. You knew to turn off these lights. I gots to know. <laughs> How I Met Your Mother reference. To anybody out there who watches How I Met Your Mother. So how come he looks so much sicker than Adam? Because he's been awake longer. Because when Adam woke up, he was already awake, so... What are you doing on this monster? And in Saw 3, by the time that, spoiler alert, Amanda brings Adam to the bathroom to set up the game with John... Gordon's already there, so who knows how long he was actually there. So he he was there longer, oh, okay. which explains why he, he looks sicker. right. He looks worse than Adam does at this point. Plus, Adam was in water. Yeah, that's 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 not a reason. So. Yeah. Just shoot yourself. Now we saw saw five. First, so going back and watching this movie, you knew who it was. Yeah. I think that's why I kind of took away from the whole experience of this But did you know that was him in the middle of the ground? No, I did not. You knew who Jigsaw was, but you didn't know that that was him right there in, in the fucking middle of the bathroom. Correct. Now he's really lost. <laughs> Who? Oh, him? Yeah. Well, yeah, wouldn't you? Right. I, I made another joke. Haha. -ha. Kinda. Now he's really lost. Ah. Yeah. I was so proud of myself for the other one. That one was really good. <laughs> 
Tony is very clever. I've worked on it all night long. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't. You probably were thinking about it all day, Rick. No, I thought about it like two minutes before the scene came on. It's funny you were thinking about it. <laughs> so is there supposed to be blood poison in this movie? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's poison in the blood. And he dipped the cigarette in the blood. But he gave him the one that didn't have the blood in on it. Mm -hmm. So, to make it look like they inhaled the poison. You know, he's gone an hour and six minutes without a cigarette. I know, and this punk ass is smoking <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> I'm glad he's not. This is, this is, this is Lee Winnell's best performance right here. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Are you Actually, when I was best performance. Uh oh. Oh no. We have trouble in paradise. Yeah, not really. Well, we don't miss nothing, so it's okay. And that was a split second for everybody to catch up if they were too far behind. Yeah. The DVD skipped for a brief second, but uh, he was about to say, Jesus, that was all the way out. See, he just finished it. We're having some difficulties we here. We are having some technical difficulties. Our DVD is skipping as we speak. At least we're not really missing nothing. I mean, it's just like... Alright, now it's starting to skip really bad, so we might have to end the commentary here. We, we we might have to. Which will suck, but we'll have to All right, to we're, we're going to skip to the next scene and see if that helps. So. Well, hold on. It stopped. Oh, wait. It seemed to have stopped skipping. Now he just threw the saw and said, damn it. So I think we're good now. I think we're so good. that's if you guys need a chance to catch up. That's where I we're remember at. everything now. I am that that again. just happened. And he just ran his... New saw that he went to Home Depot to buy. Yeah, he had to leave for Home Depot. All right. And now he's back. So I'm going to try to go to the next scene, and um, you guys can pause the commentary when I say so, and you can play it again when I, I, I say so. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can get this technical difficulty figured out. Okay, we are back, and uh, yeah, we're having some technical difficulties. My DVD is skipping, son of a bitch. I didn't know that. Um, so you can pause this commentary. I'm gonna let you know where I where I'm getting ready to continue it at. Um, yeah. So go ahead and pause this commentary in a minute here, and we're gonna start off after. Uh, Gordon stands up and says, who are you? Which would only be a couple minutes after, uh, yeah. So he, Dr. Gordon's going to stand up. He's going to say, who are you? Uh, but this is how we're going to do it. it it's going to be right around that part. But I'm going to play it when Gordon stands up and is getting ready to say, who are you? Which is right now. Who are you? He just said it. And that's where we are now. So, stop the lies! You're a liar! I'm a liar? What'd you do last night, Lawrence? Work at a hospital? Saving sick children? That, that's where we are now, so. Sorry about the technical difficulty. Well, hopefully the next time we do it, the second one doesn't skip. I don't think it did, because I think we watched it a couple days ago. Yeah, we watched not that long ago. We watched Saw 2 not too long ago. We watched Saw 6 not that long ago either. That's true, we did. It's going to be weird to watch them all in order. There we go. Now we know what the Flash was that we saw. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think I've seen you around here in years. Not the 
first time he's done it. I did not know my DVD skipped. That sucks. Now we just missed like a whole like minute or so, give or take, of me making fun of funny jokes or you know giving you some inside knowledge on the Saw franchise or something. If you go back and watch it, you can see him doing that. Yeah. Both bullshitters. Well, at least he knows them. Jenny, I told you not to call me when my wife's around. <laughs> You know who she reminds me of? Hmm. Agent May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, she's on the left side of the theater, though. How dare you? Just because she's Asian? What the fuck is wrong with you? I wasn't you a racist a bastard. That wasn't bad. <laughs> she kind of does. Saying all Asians look alike. They, I, mean, I they, never said that. I mean, they do, but that's beyond the point. I never once said that. That's beside the point. I never once said that. Alright? She does look like Agent May, though. The phone's ringing. I gotta go back to Gordon. What's your favorite scary movie? Wrong movie. <laughs> that would be a good commentary, too. Scream? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Too late, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong movie. Uh, that's not even a movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's in White Chicks. It's not in White Chicks. It's a hot chick hot with Rob chick, Schneider. My bad. What's your favorite scary movie, Lawrence? We're gonna play a little game. <laughs> I want to play a game. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Why are you doing all the movies, Nemo? Is it a little Chucky? I didn't do a Chucky. You did. I never watched a Chucky. Uh huh. No, I did Scream and uh, or Ghostface and Jigsaw. You did Ghostface, a little bit of Chucky in between that, and then you went straight to Saw. What did I say with Chucky? Yeah. Pretty much the same thing you said with um, your Jigsaw voice. Uh, you said, do you want to play? Do you want to play? And you said it just like that, so I assumed that would be Chucky. Do you want to play I the Soul? I'm not going to do my Chucky impression. Why not? Because this is a Saw commentary. It's not a Child's Play commentary. Neither was. It's not a Scream either. And you did Ghostface. I don't know. Just staring at the guy as if it's Child's Play. What do you mean, maybe? Of course it is. What do you look like? She's tall, dark. He's tall, dark, and handsome. That's what he looks like. Scar around his neck. I can't. He's not too old for that shit. <laughs> what? Danny Glover? You're a liar. I can't even pay me to take these photos for this nut to kill her. He got too lethal with his weapon. He was discharged from the police force. He got too lethal with his weapon. <laughs> All right.
bank. Got to make a living somehow. Oh, yeah. Shit. I work at a fucking gas station, so, you know, I got to do what I got to do. What do you want to get pissed off about? The fact that I took some shots of you? The fact that I took some shots of you while you were cheating on your wife? Well, he got defensive there, didn't he? No doubt. He's that super man. I did not cheat on her. I don't give a crap. You cover yourself with peanut butter and a 15 other gang bin. I missed it. I was talking over it. Jesus. No, 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 Dr. Gordon. You want to be daddy? You want to wear the daddy pants? You going to cry? Huh? Huh? You going to cry? Yeah, see, you're crying. You're a big man now, huh? <laughs> Did we miss the phone call? Yeah, that, that my DVD was skipping all over the phone call, but everybody else who's watching the movie got to watch it, hopefully. Strong, it is good to be a spy. Strong, it is good to be a spy. <laughs> Look at Jim Carrey. What would her name be? Carmen Elizabeth Conita Orzaba Cortez the second. <laughs> what the damn hell? What the damn hell? What the fuck? Look at it. Hold the phone. <laughs> What's the name of this donkey? <laughs> What's the picture? I know him. He's dead. She's like, um, you weren't supposed to know that. You bastard fuck! It's one of my favorite lines in this entire movie. I just love that though. We're out of time. Six o'clock on the dot. Gordon's time is up. has to be in the best place in which we failed. This is one of the best lines that comes out of Carrie Elwes is the rest of the movie. This is when this is the start of all the best Carrie Elwes lines in the movie. I'm your friend to the end. Oh, you know what? The funny thing is, I have that same outfit. What outfit? The one that Zip's wearing. Jeans, black shirt, and a black hoodie. Yeah, you do. <laughs> alright, alright, just don't shoot. Oh, 
fuck yo, mama. Fuck your sister. Dumbass bitch. Fuck your grandma. Why is everybody and most being... of all, fuck you. Why are you fucking everybody? I'm too old for this shit. He's getting lethal with his weapon again. God, he's a psycho. You know how many times he gets lethal with his weapon? Four. Four. Four times. Three too many. Ooh, who keeps scissors uh, in our underwear drawer? Her husband's a doctor, so, you know, she has to have some protection. But scissors? In your underwear drawer? Come on. No. You gonna cry? You gonna cry, Dr. Gold? Well, I'm pretty sure you would cry if your family sounded like they were dying. I think you're allergic to your dog food. No. I think so. Do you know why he's beating him up right now and trying to kill him? Because he fired his gun at him? No, because the Lost series finale. Just watch. Look at that. Hang on. Wait. He, 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 he's gonna come back with it. And then you'll totally see it. Trust me. I love how polite he is right here. Right here. <laughs> He's all polite about it. I'm gonna kill your husband now, Mrs. Gordon. <laughs> he sure is polite about it. I mean, he could have been a straight dick. Then I'm gonna kill you and your husband. Getting too old for this shit. Obviously, he's not. He's running. He's blue. Oh, that kind of scared me. That, that startled me a little bit. Now we gotta have the car chase. That actually wasn't that intense of a car chase when they were shooting it. It just looks like it was intense. He needs him. Where is he getting rocks? They were over there. Right next to him. By the toilet. Uh. <laughs> you let you hear me? Another good line. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Now he's fed up. <laughs> he's had enough now. Caution raw sewage. Oh. Got to get away. Oh. No. They're calling me back about my order. I want my food. I have to give him the address. I forgot to use the no. cell phone. No. No. They're going to bring me anchovies. I must tell them no. No. Not the anchovies. <laughs> Sherry comes. Zep. Is it Zep or Zeb? Zep. Z E P P. P P. <laughs> wow, you're a child. I'm gonna kill you, sick asshole. What the hell was that finale about? <laughs> what the hell was that serious finale about? I'm gonna kill you, sick asshole. He's going crazy because he's going to get anchovies on his pizza. Look at that shit. No anchovies. I won't allow it. No. <laughs> I got another little story to tell you in a few minutes here.
point when we get when we get there. Oh boy, more stories. Well, story we're, almost, time. we're almost over with it, so. Story time, everybody. Story time. Just rip it. Come on, there you go. Next time, don't wear your favorite shirt when you're being kidnapped. Wear your second favorite shirt in case this ever happens. Or suit up. Suit up. Don't suit up. It's going to damage your suit. Suit okay, up. Okay, so he about has a right, right here, right here. And he's starting to put his foot. Right here, he actually cut under the prosthetic and got his uh, got his foot a little bit. Oh, got wow. got got right 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 where he's cutting. He cut right through the prosthetic and actually nicked his foot a little bit. Ooh, ouch! Yeah. So that's the behind the scenes stuff. He he shows you the scar. Oh, I mean, so if he's scarred, he cut. No, no, no. It wasn't a big long deep cut or anything. Thing. It was when it was right, right when they were shooting. It, it was on the set stuff, and mm. it, was, it was fresh. So, what the hell was that finale about? I'm getting too old for this shit. You know how many years I wasted trying to watch that show? They're all dead. That's the best you've got. Uh, I don't need that anymore. I love that girl. Uh. It's the girliest girl ever. My question is... How'd he cut the bone? Right. That was a hacksaw. If it could cut through bone, why didn't it cut through the chain? I don't know. Uh... I guess bone wouldn't be that hard, I guess. I lost my train of thought. What was I gonna say? You have to die. This is a great scene. One of my favorite scenes in the movie here. I just want him to stand up. You have to die. <laughs> There's the shot. No. Does it like kind of aim for like his heart? Where his head, his throat, I've got it. Now show them to me. Guess I'm calling to cancel my husband's order. He does not want anchovies on his pizza, so if we could just change that. Can I bring it to our <laughs> house instead of wherever you said? You, you, you have to come over to use our phone, but uh, the long distance uh, service bill is going to be three point four. There we go. This is great. How about the best line of the whole movie right here. You bastard. I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. You fucking bastard. I'll fucking kill you. You fucking bastard. I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> You're so late. Here we go. You're late. Fuck. The pizza's on its way. Another fun fact coming up here in a second. Right there, he actually hit him. He actually he hit him really in the face. Him? Yeah, I guess he didn't mean to, but he actually did. So he was really knocked out just then. No, he didn't. Not he didn't actually knock him out. He, he he exaggerated that, but he really did punch him in the face. Oh. And he he really let him beat his head with a toilet lid. So. Oh no, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> You're a liar. I just wanted to know who took the shotgun. I have to go and get help. If if I do get help, I'm going to bleed to death. That was your own fault. You're a doctor. You should have known better. 
Right, the cop who gets right. locked in and a breaks detective, his foot. A detective is smarter than a doctor. Well, you could argue the fact that he was panicking and didn't really think clearly. You could argue that. He was clear-headed enough to cut his fucking foot off. Don't worry. I'll break someone's back. I can punch them in the dick. Well, finish it. This is a good argument. Does Dr. Gordon actually bring someone back? Formally? You say no. I've seen the second one. His dead body's in the base in the bathroom. Yeah. But I say yes. I say yes. Well, now that I know that he was really in on it. You saw him. You Fuck that. Guy. Fuck that. He wasn't really, even the seventh movie, Abomination, said that he wasn't involved aside from the medical, surgical stuff that needed to be done, like sewing the eyes shut and all that. That was all that he was really doing. Mm -hmm. He wasn't involved in anything else with the seventh one, for sure. Probably one of the greatest twists in film history. Definitely, probably in my top three film twists. Of all time, it's probably this one right here. I wouldn't put it at number one, but it's definitely one of the greats. Because this is the first Saw, we didn't know what to expect from a movie called Saw. Right. So we didn't know what was going to happen or how it was going to end. It's a movie about Saw. We really thought it was him the whole time, the first time I saw it. Charlie Clouser's score. How great is the score of the scene? Who did this? Charlie Clouser. I like it. Oh, it's very cold to arrive at the hospital. Sir, I don't want you to make a choice. This is the moment where we realize, oh shit, that wasn't really Jigsaw at all. I love the music and the way they use the montage. Again, they just started it with an editing technique. Right. And now it's a staple of the entire, you know, franchise. How well did that work out? Really good. I like that it kind of lets you know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Yes. Pieces everything together. He's like, uh, shit. He's like, oh my god. Like, that man is getting up, and he even shot himself in the head. That is not normal. No, 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 he's just got a Dr. Evil cap on, honey, you know? He was cryogenically frozen for a few hours. <laughs> he's like, thank God I'm fine. The key to that chain is in the bathtub. Now, my question is, if we know in Saw 3 that Amanda actually put put the key there. She was supposed to put it somewhere else when, when they're setting up the bathroom. She, she was supposed to put it somewhere else. Yeah. And she put it on top of him so it went down, down the drain. What if she actually followed the rules and he could have gotten out right away? <laughs> that would have been funny. Here he goes. <laughs> now he's epileptic. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. Yay, we did it, yay. Woohoo, we made Ten it years old, old, directed by James Wan. Launched a fucking career for this dude. Written by Lee Wano, who does almost everything James Wan does. Except for aside from The Conjuring and Fast 7. Everything. Greg Hoffman, rest in peace. Mark Berg, fuck you. Carrie Elwes. Well done. 
Danny Glover, Murtaugh. Danny Murtaugh, Glover, Monica Potter. No relation to Harry Potter. Of course not. Uh, Michael Emerson, who is lost. He's, he's, he's a person of interest. Tobin Bell. Uh, Ken Leung, who is not coincidentally Asian. Mackenzie Vega, the sister Shawnee Smith. Are we going to really do uh, this? Yeah. We're trying to get through the names. Dina Meyer, who really got fucked up in Piranha. Uh, Benito Martinez, who was Brett. And introducing Lee Winnell. Who's so Lee Winnell? He was Adam. DJ oh. Hefner, holy shit. Peter Block, Jason Constantine, David Armstrong. Well, guys, this has been our commentary for um, Saw. Ten years old now. Editor Kevin Greuter. We'll talk about him in future commentaries if we get to those. Music by Charlie Clouser. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for joining us. Sorry we had some technical difficulties a little bit towards the end there, but uh, hopefully you guys were able to sync yourselves up pretty well. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, and, yeah, so anything else you want to add to the commentary before we leave? This movie still sucks. Fuck you. Well, okay, on my grade system, how would you grade the first Saw movie from an A plus to an F? Uh, minus. An F minus? No, I'd have to give it a solid F. A solid F. Good, because there is no F minus unless it's Batman and Robin. Oh no! <laughs> That's the only thing that gets a F minus. Well, I'm gonna, obviously going to give this movie an A plus. I, I love it. I enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. So guys, uh, that's all we can say for today. We'll see you guys in the next video, whether it be a commentary or an actual video. Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, whatever happens to be uploaded. I uh, got lots of stuff planned for Halloween Horror Month. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug myself at the end of this commentary. Uh, Halloween Horror Month taking all month October, reviewing horror films, and maybe I'll have time to review these ones as well. Maybe I'll try to squeeze them in there. We'll see. And, uh, so, that's all I got to say, and we're out for now. Bye. That's all I can say for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.